Hi, welcome to Pop Along RC. I'm Mark. And I'm Carl. And today we are talking one tenth scale four wheel drive touring car. Yes. Hopefully you've seen the recent unboxing I did of the R3G. Now then, that is the sort of club racer car that we got from Team Powers recently. Yeah, nice car. Very, very impressed what, with what was in the box, actually, yeah. to be quite it's, honest. It is what it is. At a good price as well. Decent price, nice and simple. Um, for anyone thinking about getting into touring car racing and don't want to break the bank, 120 quid, you've got you got your rolling chassis there. Bear in mind um, the other cars that we, we've also looked into starting at around £500. Yeah, which too much for us, man. Too, too much, much for us. us. So that is a great way just to have a go, test the water almost with, yeah. with a car like that. Now then, with regards to Team Powers, they also have the T3M, which is completely different. It's a full carbon fibre car. This car looks amazing. Lovely car, carbon fibre, suspension arms, really, really yeah, nice. Yeah, very blingy, kit. very big. That was the car we was going to get, it? It was. Mm. I was like, let's do it, let's get that one. We uh, did an unboxing a little while ago now. It was at the iconic cup of the Team Powers Fronty. Really liked that and thought, you know what? Let's go with their top car. However, when we placed the order, we were talked out of it. Yeah, we were talked out of it. It didn't really fit with the specs that we wanted to race because we kind of we, we're club racers, really, aren't we? But we do, of course, want to dip our toe in the national scene and start doing some big races as well, perhaps next year. Yeah. So obviously, most of our racing is going to be on carpet. However, we will be doing a little bit of racing um, at some of the local tracks as well, out on tarmac. Yeah. So. Um, the customer service at Team Powers, amazing. Their knowledge of the cars, amazing. Everyone there um, are racers and they knew exactly what car we should go for. So what they suggested is we got the cheap chassis, which is this one here. Um, How much is that again? 120 quid. 120 quid. And it even comes with wheels. Exactly. I don't know many cars that do come with no. wheels, actually. And then they said, do you know what you need? You need the... T3M conversion kit. Now this conversion kit um, is one of these, and that is a full carbon fiber chassis. Yeah. Uh, single piece mount there. Sing yeah, it's got a, a single piece uh, spur gear mount, really nicely machined as well. It has also got included in that pack a single piece, very strong carbon fiber top deck. All oh, right, nice, so that's the conversion. Yeah. So now, this car would be a lovely carbon fibre chassis. Um, but they didn't say stop there, did they? No, they didn't. So what was the next thing they suggested we change? Well, funnily enough, I've actually, uh, this is my car, which I've actually finished now, bar the electrics, which are on order and coming very soon. Video on that coming up. So what else did uh, they suggest? Well, there is one piece I really like on this car, and I've never seen it before, right? And it was the fact that they're trying to get everything so low into the car, which makes complete sense if you're going to race it and you want to go fast. Yeah, that lowers that roll centre. Therefore, you just go quicker around the corners, in theory, anyway. The low shock mount kit, as you can see here, it's all in the bag there. But on the car, it looks the business. It's really nice. Obviously, one at the front. Oh, sorry, one set at the front, one set at the back just to keep everything really down nice and low. That piece there that you are holding goes at the back. Ah, yeah, see. I see what you mean now. So yeah, on this car, if you look, you've got the, the shock tower normally sits like that. Yeah. Um, but what they've actually done, they've laid it down. Yeah. So again, it's dropped everything a little bit lower. Exactly. Now I know these things aren't very heavy, but there's enough bits here that if you probably added all that weight up, it would it would come in, uh, you know, because the cars are not, you know, not overly heavy, but it all adds up, doesn't it? So if you keep it as low as you can, you're going to be faster than the next man, aren't you? And we Sounds all good to win. me. We, we all, all want to win. win. 
You especially want to win, don't you? Yeah, do. You, or do you just not want to lose? <laughs> yes, that as well, yeah. But, um, what else is there? Anti-roll. Anti-roll bars. We were we were supplied with the anti-roll bar kit. I think you've got about four different strengths in there, front and rear. Comes with all the bits. And you get this weight as well, this T-bar, I would say T-bar weight here, um, which I should imagine needs to be there they would yeah, have done so the that's testing. in the chassis kit that one isn't yeah, it yeah that's right so uh you've got that in there as well probably add some strength and a bit of weight in the right area and there's also a a bearing attached to this uh spur gear mount as a little tensioner for the belt there and those are the hop ups which i've done and i'll do your we're going to do your car and i'm going to take it home tonight and do your one so and now we we will both have very uh, souped up cars to a budget that we are happy with yeah and we're ready to race i say we it, hopefully you've seen the previous v video that we did talking about the price of a rolling chassis or not rolling chassis if you haven't got wheels on it mm -hmm. um and say tamia were over 700 quid wasn't so it so expensive yeah this car 120 pounds this one though mm -hmm. still comes in at 300 pound yeah. which is still two hundred pounds cheaper than the Schumacher, which was yeah. just over five hundred pounds. And so if you get, if you get, look, we're going to go seventeen point five brushless. You can get a brushless hobby wing combo for I think it's ninety eight pounds. I mean, you've already got yours, haven't you? Yeah. So you could put that money into the electrics and bits and pieces. You know, we've already got our transponders. We've already got our radio gear in previous cars. Yeah. So actually, for us to get a touring car up and running to a pretty high spec. Um, we are looking 400 quid. Yep. Ah, a little bit more. We need to get a shell. Shell, which I've ordered that. You've ordered. And you know what? There'll be a video on the shells yeah. and all the electrics coming your way very soon. So if you're interested in uh, our journey with these cars, um, see how we get on with our transition back into touring car racing. Please like, subscribe. Is there anything else they need to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you've got to smash the old ding dong bell. Definitely. Yeah. And if you do that, you won't miss anything. And do you know what? Will it be a success? I don't know. Will it be a failure? Actually, there's know. no room for failure. It won't be a failure. But I'll tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. Yeah. So log on, stay tuned, and keep up to date with what we're doing. We'll see you soon.